Another game where the Jays just cannot just lose. They gotta lose in a fashion where you're pulling your hair out constantly. Even before the ball game starts, you think, alright, Dickie's pitching. Oh god, there goes some hair. Oh wait, that means Josh Tolley's catching him. Okay, there goes more. Troy Tulowitzki's not playing today just for rest? Why? Why is Troy Tulowitzki sitting when Josh Tolley's playing? Listen to the lineup yesterday, or the two players that got taken out today for two that played yesterday. Josh Tolley for Russell Martin. Troy Tulowitzki came out for Darwin Barney. I love Darwin Barney. Don't get me wrong. I love the guy. But you're not Troy Tulowitzki, buddy. I'm sorry. Was he giving this game to them? I'm not sure why. Was Stroman starting, or was it... Was Did they move the Tampa Bay series the right way just so this could happen? I mean, I don't understand. Why did you have Troy Tulowitzki sitting when you had a below-average hitter in Josh Tolley batting? You need as much firepower as you can. If you're going to give Russell Martin a day off, keep Troy Tulowitzki in the lineup. Why take both out? It made a huge hole in the lineup, and it really affected us today. It really did. And... The bullpen, once again, does a great job. I mean, you get Lariano comes in for two innings, gives up a hit, strikes out three guys, good to go. Cecil comes in, has an inning, does the job. Benoit comes in, he walks a guy, or, yeah, he walks a guy, but he strikes out the side. The bullpen does their job. But again, the rotation does not help. Jay Happ didn't help yesterday. He didn't have a great job. Dickie, you really never know what you're going to get from the guy, and today was one of those outings where you just, like I said, pull your hair out, where you're like, ah, this is awful, because you don't know. First inning, he was not good. Second inning, second inning, one, two, three. Third inning, gave up a run. Like, this guy is so inconsistent, because it's the knuckleball, you never know what it's going to do. That's why we don't like watching him pitch. And that's why it's so hard in a pennant race. When you're battling for every win, and every win and loss matters, and you throw this guy out where you never know what you're going to get. It's so hard to watch. And so, But one person in, uh, specifically, because the Jays had their chances today. Tanaka was not good. He was not good. He gave up seven, hit, seven hits and walked three guys. He was not good. Two base running mistakes from Jose Bautista could have cost us a lot. The one in the first inning where the ball's dropped at home plate on the throw home, Jose's halfway, he drops it, literally doesn't go that far, it goes about three feet to, to, to the backstop, like three feet, not far. But I don't know what Jose thinks he's fast enough to get in there, I don't think Pilar or Upton are even fast, Pompey's probably not even fast enough to get home from that. He tries to go home, Gary Sanchez picks up the ball, <laughs> buddy you're out, like... It didn't make any sense why he went home there. It didn't. And I think that was a big part of the game. I think that's where we really lost it. it was right in that first inning. We could have had so many chances. Innings later, Pilar, line drive. Right at Chase, or Chase Utley. Wow. Chase Headley. That's okay. I see what I got there. Josh Donaldson later on in the game. Line drive. Chase Headley. Caught it. Deonna Navarro comes in to pinch hit. Hits a ball deep, deep, deep. Oh, we see we saw this yesterday, didn't we? Catch, jump at the wall. Could have been a two-run home run. The luck wasn't there either. It really wasn't. The starting pitching wasn't there. The bullpen was lights out. The clutch hitting was not there. They hit the ball very hard, but right at the guys. If you watch back, you're going to see those. You're going to see a lot of hard hit balls, but again, right at them. Melvin Upton had a good night. He went. He had two hits, a double and a single. But on his double, again, couldn't move him over. Sucked. So the clutch hits weren't there today. It sucks because Baltimore, they won 7-3 over the Rays. Boston's playing San Diego. So that means we just lost that one game. We just got back yesterday on the Baltimore Orioles. Now we're back to two up on them. And Boston could tie us today, and it could be just a back-and-forth montage of, of stuff right now. It was tough to watch, though. 
And I think anybody can agree with me, watching an R.A. Dickey start is never easy. He could be lights out for four or five innings, going a no-hit bid. He actually had one earlier in the year that I was at. He was having a no-hitter through five. He imploded in the sixth. It's just what happens with the knuckleball. You never know what you're going to get from one pitch to one batter to one inning to the next. You really don't know. And that's why we can almost guarantee that he's not going to be on the playoff roster. But man, help us get to the playoffs, please. And it's, 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 it's a really tough time right now. Um, I'm just praying that we can find a way to win tomorrow and Wednesday and win the series. But you know what? we got to take it one game at a time. Tomorrow, Aaron Sanchez is going to the mound, so a bit much different than Dickey, uh, versus Luis Cesa, who is 4-0 with a 4-17 ERA. It's a winnable game. Uh, all these have win a, a lot of these have been winnable games, but they haven't been won. So we need to win tomorrow to even the series and just pray, pray that Boston and Baltimore can find ways to lose. I mean... Yeah, look who's going for San Diego. Edwin Jackson, 3-5 and five with a 6.26 ERA. It's not going to be easy tonight, so we might be in a really tough spot after tonight's ball game for Boston. I don't know what to say. We think Stroman's going to be starting Wednesday, or is it going to be Estrada? I'm not sure. It's probably going to be Stro. We need to win tomorrow. That's the bottom line. I think anybody could agree with me in that sense. Um, this was a tough game to watch, though. A lot of hard hit balls right at guys. Bloop. Like, oh, I missed it, actually. Anyway, I forgot which inning it was. I think it was when Melvin Upton got the double. Uh, Devin Travis with two out bloops it. But, of course, Aaron Judge comes diving in and makes the catch to end the inning where it would have been a run right there. That, at that point, it would have tied the game. There were so many times where Jays had inches of, you know, stardom, I guess, on the blooper. If he missed it, if it, Judge read it a little bit wrong or or didn't make the diving catch, that's a run. That's, a, that's two runs. Deonna Navarro hits a two-run home run. There's another two runs. The Jays could have won that game easy. Pilar, his hard hit ball, that's a run because it was a guy at second at that point. You know, there were so many runs, but they were hit hard. They were blooped. They weren't cut. They were, it was just... It was one of those games where it's like you could just, the luck was not there at all. The baseball gods were just throwing turds down on us. Like, nope, you ain't doing it. You ain't getting it. Uh-uh. Nope. You think that ball's out of the yard? Ha! Nope. It's what it felt like. And uh, I'm just praying that tomorrow is not one of those days again. We need to win the series. That's We, we continue to have to win series because we got to do well because after the off day is Probably the biggest series of the season up to this point with the Boston Red Sox coming to Toronto. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you really, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you guys really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. And uh, comment down below what you thought of this, this weird game and, and what you think they need to improve moving forward. And what about the decisions John Gibbons made with, uh, with Tolley and Barney and Tulowitzki and Martin and that kind of maneuver love to hear what you guys think uh we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night after hopefully hopefully a jays win and another aaron sanchez win his 14th of the season we'll talk to you guys post game tomorrow see ya